It's gone. You both know what's at stake here. There isn't much road left. Take the bloody shot. James Bond Skyfall set new records this weekend, grossing as the highest earning domestic opening in franchise history, and not by a small margin. At the midnight premiere of Skyfall, the most dedicated Bond fans came in and set themselves to be the first in Windsor to watch the film celebrating its 50th anniversary. Where the hell have you been? Enjoying death. I only have one question. Why not stay dead? <laughs> From Russia with Love to Dr. No, featuring Sean Connery, or Octopussy with Roger Moore, to even more recent years with Pierce Brosnan, the face of James Bond has changed, but some things remain the same. Dry martini, lemon peel, shaken, not stirred. Vodka? Of course. Depeche Fulwani, on vacation in Windsor, decided to take the opportunity to see the newest James it's, Bond. You know, movie. every James Bond movie has something new in it. You know, so much more exciting, so much suspense on it. You know, every scene, every, you know, every 30 minutes, every 40 minutes, you have something new in the movie. It's old school, so much of technology on it, you know. One of the best movies I've ever seen of James Bond. And Bond fans appreciate Daniel Craig's intense delivery while keeping the classic elements to the film. I like him a lot as an actor. He brings like an intensity and a kind of a darkness to the role that you don't see with anyone else. And he's a guy I've kind of followed since like Road to Perdition. James Bond Skyfall blew away the box office competition, grossing $87.8 in an extraordinary movie that paralleled many of the originals in more ways than one. Where other movies such as second place Wreck-It Ralph, which earned $33.1 and third place Flight, $15.1 could hardly compare. And for Mediaplex News Now, I'm Anderson, Stephen. Anderson.